you start with the Gorasthi Mantra, right? It's a very warm day, right? Besides boring you guys with mathematical concepts and uh, too much of uh, derivations, designs, definitions, I think it is better for me to keep your attention here with some applications in the form of uh, micro-electromechanical systems. What is that micro-electromechanical system? Uh, being a mechanical engineer, we have been uh, used to what is that, uh, learn very big machineries, very big processes, like uh, machining in a lathe, machining in uh, a milling machine, a grinding machine, huge structures. Whereas, if you bring everything down closer, you save enough space. That is the idea. In those days, uh, the products would be too big. Uh, very big manufacturing industries were there. Nowadays, you could see very, very small but sophisticated uh, plants are there. Uh, for example, I'll give you uh, the, the thing about uh, uh, what is that? The company that starts with the letter F. What is that? A fantastic company is there. Ford. Not Ford yet. An electronic system, electronic company. An electronic company is there. That company, all of a sudden, I forgot the name of the company. But after the advent of those companies, the electronic manufacturing has come into existence. Previously, we used to think about huge, big, large manufacturing industries. Right? Having all that got the expertise in such manufacturing processes, the people from outside came to India. For example, you are all those automobile industries, uh, be it Ford, be it Hyundai, all those people came to India not just because India uh, gives uh, very uh, what is that, low cost production and low what is that, uh, labor cost, low electricity cost. Apart from that, you got the technical know-how in India. Too many engineering, engineering graduates are coming out. Moreover, they come out with the technological know-how. So it is possible for them to start their plants in India. But nowadays, having uh, what is that, getting into a, region, uh, a regime of nano and micro, Initially micro, then nano comes into the play. So the purpose of uh, what is that, uh, bringing down the size of your products, size of your equipments, is 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 to save material number one. Another thing is it enhances the product, uh, the process enhancement is there. Uh, the way the the components, the way the machineries uh, function, performs, getting enhanced day by day. That is what uh, a famous, uh, uh, what is that, a scientist is there, Henry Feynman. He is called as uh, father of nanotechnology. What he says that is that if you uh, get into the bottom, you could see a lot of things that could happen uh, that, that could be beneficial to the mankind. He says that you can write uh, the entire, uh, uh, what is that, Britannica. What is that Britannica? Encyclopedia Britannica is there. Encyclopedia is the collection of facts. You can write the entire Encyclopedia Britannica in on top of uh, a rice, a small uh, paddy, paddy or rice. You can write everything on top of it. It is possible for you guys. So with that word concept in mind, what happened to IBM people, you know? IBM, the famous uh, business machines. What is that? What is, what's, uh, what is IBM? International Business Machines. They wrote their logo, IBM using nickel atoms on top of xenon. IBM, they wrote, with, with they pick, literally they picked the atom and placed on top of I, in the form of I, in the form of V, and in the form of M. That was the possibility that they could see, and nowadays you could see they rule the entire world with their, uh, what is that, electronic machineries, electronic gadgets. Of course, many people followed them, uh, Apple followed them, a lot of uh, even Sony, all those people follow the idea of nanotechnology. Now you could have electronic gadgets in your hand. In those days, those electronic gadgets were very big. If you talk about the computers of those days, it occupied a very big room. Nowadays, it is available only on top of your palm. Then it was a desktop. Then it came onto your lap. Now you are holding it on your palm. Who knows? Later on, you can be having it on your watch. It is pretty much possible. Everything happened because of that one particular statement given by Henry Feynman. Okay? Before getting into nanotechnology, then the size from what is that macro or millimeter to micron, then comes nano, right? So this is the stage that is just before nano. That is the micro thing. Uh, I've got uh, one slide here. 
This slide is the picture of an ant. You know the size of an ant. That ant carries a gear wheel. Could you imagine the size of the gear wheel then? If you think about the size of the gear wheel, how about manufacturing the gear wheel? That is technology. Manufacturing, manufacturing a gear wheel that is much smaller than the size of the ant is something phenomenal, unimaginable, right? But it is possible. It is possible. People are manufacturing it. Only after getting the ability to manufacture the, the, what is that, the parts of this size, now we could see a lot of embedded systems in your uh, automobiles, in your cars. Too much of sophistications are there in your cars right now. Yes. Automatic uh, pilot control, automatic, everything is automatic nowadays. I will show you a lot of uh, what is that, examples, applications of this nanotechnology. Imagine this particular picture. It tells you the, though the picture is very small, but the reach, the capability of this particular concept is something very, 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 very big. Okay? Next slide. This is about introduction of uh, MEMS. This is MEMS. Let me see the applications. Applications of MEMS in automobiles. Lot of applications are there. So besides getting into what is MEMS, how you manufacture that uh, MEMS products, uh, what is the philosophy behind manufacturing, all these things are boring at this particular point in time. So let me restrict myself with the applications of MEMS. Okay? It will be quite interesting. Besides getting into technology, if you know the applications, that should interest you. The appli application should drag you inside the subject. That is the idea. Always. Even if you are going to present any, any of the concepts in any of the conferences or seminars, please first of all you stick to the applications. The mighty of those applications. The, industry, the interesting aspects of applications. Then if you jump into oh, what is the concept behind it, what is the mathematics behind it, then people may have an interest to uh, listen to. Straight away getting into the concepts and explaining the lot of equations, substitutions, definitions, then going back to applications, it may not what is that, grab the attention of uh, the audiences. The only way to grab the attention of the people is to tell them the interesting applications of a particular concept. Okay? So that is the idea. That's why I started with only applications. If time permits, we'll get back into what is MIMS, how MIMS are manufactured, uh, what is the philosophy behind manufacturing at micro scale. There is not a very big machinery is required to manufacture what? A small wheel. You don't require a very big machinery. You require a very small machinery with, with the, what is that? You need to remove material, right? You need to make, remove material. How it is possible for you to remove a material, a, a product of this size? Could you imagine when it, all, uh, when it should have all happened? When it should have, it should have all happened? It should have all happened with your HMD in India. The HMD watches, they carry what? Micro wheels, right? So the MEMS is not quite new. It is old, but they adopted a huge technology. They didn't, what is that, reduce or bring down the technology that could be, or uh, that give you uh, the ease with which you can manufacture. The ease with which we manufacture is very, very important, right? I didn't go into the syllabus. I kept on, what is that, what is that, uh, the slides. I kept on talking, talking, and talking. Right, fine. Right. That is the one I'm talking in front of a camera. <laughs> so I'm a bit nervous, right? No problem. See, you need not have to stick on to the particular subject that is not uh, the idea of taking the classes in front of the camera. Even you can be what you are. Right? You can be what you are. So this is what the teacher is all about. Anyway, applications of mention or mobiles. So the app back. You know what is an app back? When it became famous, anybody? When it became famous, it became famous. When one particular uh, human being, a lady, got into a car crash. People started to talk about airbags. It was Princess Diana. The car crash that happened in France, along with her boy. Okay. Airbag.